there's got to be thousands of horseshoe crab shells washed up on West Dennis Beach. What gives? Find out next. Cape Cast. Howdy folks, I'm Eric Williams and welcome to Cape Cast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times. I've assembled some of my new friends, the horseshoe crab shells here at West Dennis Beach. There are probably thousands of these shells scattered up and down this vast and sandy strand. And we're just trying to figure out what gives. All right, fellas, from the top, H-O-R-S-H-O. What appears to be a horseshoe crab graveyard at West Dennis Beach is actually what happens when molting meets a moon tide. That's right, molting. Thankfully, most of the shell action you see here is just that, shells, not unfortunate dead horseshoe crabs. As horseshoe crabs get bigger, they shed their shells, leaving a hard souvenir behind. It's called molting. According to town and Dennis officials, the high number of shells on West Dennis Beach, and we're talking thousands, is likely the result of a high moon tide pushing the shells high up onto the beach. So they've stuck around for a while without getting washed back to sea. So head on down to West Dennis Beach and soak in the fabulous prehistoric vibe of horseshoe crab shells. But watch out for the live ones. Okay, let's molt. Oh, that feels great. Cape Cast. Come on, guys, let's molt. It's really great. Oh, oh I feel naked. 